Hey, it's Mike here from Music Radio Creative. In this video, I'll show you the best audio collaboration tools out there for audio producers. If you're an audio producer and you need to share audio files, wouldn't it be great if there was a way people could provide feedback, comments, updates, to-do lists, and mark out exact points in the audio where you needed to make changes? Let's find out how that's all possible. Okay, here's a little example jingle I created. Let's play it. This is an example jingle. As you can hear, very creative, and I might be collaboration with one, two, three producers on this jingle, on a promo, on a music mix. Uh, it's often the case here at Music Radio Creative, we have multiple producers in multiple time zones around the world working on audio projects. So up until now, a tool I've been using to collaborate and share is basically Adobe Audition. There's no team project facility currently available inside Adobe Audition. So what I'd do is I would save as this multi-track session and I call it MRC V1 like that into my downloads folder there it goes MRC V1 uh, yes I want to save the media so you can save all the media together so it's ready to use and then I would email off MRC V1 dot SESX uh, plus all the audio files inside it to another producer and say I want to make these changes or I want to do this I'd start an email trail and really it gets really long and really complicated and you can lose small minute details of changes you wanted to make while well, no longer with the tool I'm about to show you. So here is my jingle so far. I'm gonna go into multi-track, mix down into an audio file, into a WAV file. So there is my jingle. I'm gonna save this out right now into my downloads folder, into a downloads folder called audio. And I'm gonna call this uh, MRC jingle. No need to version it and you'll see why in a moment because I'm using a fantastic tool. I've been using this on my YouTube channel for video collaboration for quite a while. They've just recently released audio collaboration into it and I think it's fantastic. Here it is on the screen right now. If you'd like to sign up uh, for a free trial to try this for yourself, go to mrc.fm slash team, collaborate with your team on audio like a boss. So basically inside the tool here, you upload your audio. So here we go. Uh, there's my MRC jingle uh, into your media library, which is on the left. You have lots of other stuff in here uh, that maybe I'll show in another video, like a dashboard so you can see who's been looking or listening to your audio, uh, who's been commenting, everything else, bookmarks is really, really good, right? That didn't take long because it's a small file. If I now refresh the app here, uh, here we go. Uh, the MRC jingle is there. You can see the waveform and you can click into it and play. Um, but obviously, if I wanted to share this with a team member, I could click the share button, share for review, for approval. Here I can choose who I'd like to share with. I can type in an email address or I can just go and create a URL that I can share secretly with anyone I like, adding passwords, disabling downloads, whatever is appropriate for the audio projects I'm sharing. This is where it gets fun. Now you can go into the jingle and you can see a waveform view of it and play it. <laughs> This is an example jingle. There it is with the tailing bit, but it gets even more interesting. You'll see your team members down the right hand side and a lot of other features. So in the info here, I can see info about it, how many people are working on it, to do items, I can add tags in. So I could add in the jingle tag here. Uh, there we go, there's a tag, so it's a jingle. I can see history of comments, nothing yet. I'll show you how that works in a moment. Uh, history of reviews, so you can see I just viewed the audio. You can see other people who viewed it or commented. And we get all the nice metadata information, uh, like the file size, who uploaded it, uh, whether it's PCM, audio, MP3, whatever format you're using, sample rates, bit rates, all very important here at MRC. We like to make sure sample rate and bit rate is correct. And channels, is it a stereo file, mono? Uh, does it have five channels? Is it surround? Whatever, it'll be here in the file metadata. But commenting, I think, is the killer feature of this app here. Uh, and I'm using this quite a bit now, uh, especially for video collaboration. So here I might say, let's just play this back again. Let's have a little listen. This Okay, so around here, I think the voiceover comes in too early. So right here, I'm going to click and put in a comment. Voice comes in too early. Allow SFX to establish first. Done. Okay, that is my first audio comment you see right there, pointing to the point of the waveform that I want to change. And then at the end here, uh, I, can, I can click anywhere, literally anywhere on the waveform and drop a comment. Um, but as I play more this of this, is an example jingle. This tale goes on far too long, so I'm just going to put in a comment here, and I'm going to go. This tale goes on too long. Shorten it. Okay. 
comment and there we go and you can see in the comments here now all the comments are appearing and if I go back to info you'll actually see actually I might need to refresh this view but you'll see the comments appear as to do list items uh, so back into info and now you see I've got two to do's uh, to tick off from the comment section here and I can reply back other team members can reply back you can like a comment whatever you want to do you can see the comments have been added in the history all of this really really good stuff uh, and just finally I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to say actually let's just rewind this a bit and have a listen an example right just about here th between this is an, an example just here I'm going to say needs SFX here okay save that boom done uh, and then if I go back to the original view click the comments button you'll see all my comments are here uh, ready to take action on which is really really fantastic stuff so now and they're all here as bubbles as well so I can click the bubbles and I can see the comments in time in place on the waveform really good for collaborating with the team so now I can go back and take action on all of those points so first of all voice comes in too early allow SFX to establish first okay so pretend I've made the comments and now I'm another producer in another time zone in another place reviewing these and taking action. So, okay, voice comes in too early. So back to audition, back to my multi-track session. So I'm just going to budge these voices over a bit. This is maybe a bit too far there. This is no, it's a bit too much. This is okay. So now we get a nice, we get the effect coming in, then the voice. Okay. So I've done that when I've done that mark complete tick that's ticked back into info and we'll see one of my two to do's actually if I refresh that it should say one of my three to do's are complete now simple as that really easy to keep tabs and make sure one out of three tasks done already okay what's my next task let's click this bubble uh, needs SFX okay so between is an example yes I see exactly what that comment is referring to so I'm gonna go back to sound effects I'm gonna grab a glitch because glitches are always good a tiny little glitch Maybe not that one, maybe maybe something like that. And I'm gonna drop that in and somewhere I'm just gonna use a part of that sound effect and I'm gonna pop it in here. It is an example. Maybe like it that. Is an example jingle. Perfect, okay, so I've put my sound effect in there. I can tick that off as done now. Back to the info display and you'll see that now it goes up to two out of three of my tasks are done as an audio producer on the other side of the world. Next over here, ah oh yeah, tail goes on too long, shorten it, no worries at all. Back into audition, a little cut here, a little pull in there and... An example jingle. There we go, a nice shortened tail. So I've done that again, tick that off on my list. All three tasks are complete. Now comes the fun. I'm going to mix down this entire session. Uh, and when it's sa saved like that, I'm gonna actually save it again as MRC jingle. I'm just gonna uh, maybe even overwrite my original jingle, or actually it's not letting me do that. So I'm gonna call this MRC jingle two, like that. And then we'll go back uh, and we'll go back to the audio production directory. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I am going to now go in here. You can do all kinds of things here. You can favorite, you can publish this publicly. If you want lots of people to share, you can download the original. So all of that stuff is available to you. But I'm going to add a new version you can see here at the bottom from the desktop. And I'll grab MRC Jingle 2. And what this will do is overwrite this original jingle with my new version. And the original person who was commenting will get notified as well. Email notifications go out and then I can click back in so let's refresh this but what is even cooler is that it will now say this is v2 of the MRC jingle v2 of the MRC jingle there it is version 2 and I can play that back this is an example jingle and all the changes are made but do not worry because of the way this app works is very very clever indeed I can skip back and go to version 1 if I want and I can see how many times that's been viewed or listened to how many comments have gone on on version version one so I get a stacked history well rather than getting lost in email comments and goodness knows what and getting really confused I can just go back to version one and just check in with all my comments and make sure those tasks were completed uh, so here I'm viewing an older version uh, so what did I ask for voice comes in too early add a sound effect here and shorten the tail uh, and I can listen to the original version see with that long tail at the end then I can go back to version 2 and I can just check again here make sure everything is okay so what have we got we've got the first of all oh and I can comment as well obviously but first of all this is yeah, an example effect. jingle excellent all three of my things are done this is fab I'm just gonna add a comment here you can filter your comments but I'll just add a comment to say 
Fab. And maybe put an emoticon as well to just show how happy I am. Let's put that big smiling face, big grin like that. And that then updates Fab, everything good, ready to go. So really, this is fantastic. MRC.fm slash team to sign up for your free trial of Whipster. It's an app I've been using a long time for video collaboration, but you can see how easy it is to go through a waveform, visually mark out points that need changing, either in volume, uh, different effects, extra sound effects, cuts here, whatever it might be. Easiest way I've found of collaborating with multiple producers around the world. You can add your team uh, to this app and it really works very well. So mrc.fm slash team, get a free, free trial and let me know in the comments how you get on. So there you go, one of my favorite new tools. Not only can it help with your video projects, but it has fantastic audio collaboration facilities. If you'd like to sign up for a free trial and find out how it all works, just go to mrc.fm forward slash team. That's mrc.fm forward slash team and start collaborating with your team on audio projects right now.